This is what we call an entry or a text box. It is used for single line text input. These controls are rendered differently depending on the platforms. In iOS, it appears with a gray border. In Android, they don't have a border. And this one is an editor which accept multi-line input. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the how create a Xamarin Forms entry and editor. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. This is the output we would like to achieve. Where we can input text in an entry or editor and save it to an observable collections and display it into a list view. So here, on our main page, I already added the list view with a simple text cell where the value of text and detail property was bound to a property of an object. And a toolbar item with a click event. In our code behind, the list view's item source is set to student list. Now, what is the student list? The list is a collection of student object, and these are its properties. The collection is set to static so we can access it without creating a new instance of the student object. Since we were going to navigate, in our app class, don't forget to set your main page to a new navigation page. Now let's add new page and create a form. We can now navigate to this page. Go to toolbar item click event to open the new student page. Let's run the app. Here, we give our elements an identifier so we can access them later in our code behind. I also set different keyboard values for each entry to fit the keyboard displayed for each entry in editor. Here I set it to a telephone. If this element is active, the keyboard will only display number keys. Other values are email, numeric, chat, etc. The placeholder is often used to indicate the type of content that is appropriate for the entry or editor. We can also customize the return key keyboard by setting the return type property to a value of the return type enumeration such as default, done, go, next, search and send. This clear button visibility property can be used to control whether an entry displays a clear button which enables the user to clear the text. The while editing value indicates that a clear button will be displayed in the entry while it has focus in text. The is password property is set to true so that the contents of the field will be presented as black circles to hide your password. For editor, we can set its auto size property to text changes. This means the size of the editor resizes depends on its text length. The auto size cannot be used in entry because, unlike entry, an editor can accept multi line input. There are other properties you can add to the element like color, text cases, 
character spacing, etc. Next is to save its value to our list and display it to the list view. Let's implement the event. So here, we create a new instance of student and set its property from the text property of the entry and editor. And add this new student to our list. Then, navigate back to main page. Let's run the app again. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone!